Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we're making a Beijing dish. It's called Old Beijing Lazy Dragon. <laughs> don't ask me why. I don't know why they named it like that. It's like a steamed bun. It tastes delicious and it's not hard to make. So let's get started. First, let's make the dough. You will need 400 grams of all-purpose flour, mix 1 teaspoon of yeast with 200 grams of warm water. Turn the machine on low speed and pour the yeast water from the side of the bowl. Let it run for a few minutes until it looks like this. Then switch to the hook attachment and knead the dough for 10 minutes or until the dough is soft and smooth. Take it off the hook, cover it and let it sit for one and a half hour. While the dough is resting, we can make the filling. Add a little bit oil to the wok and wait for it to get hot. Cook the ground pork on medium-low heat. I would suggest using 20% fat because you need a little fat to make it tasty. After a few minutes, you will see that the pork fat starts coming out. Then use the spatula to pack the pork flat and let it fry for a few minutes until you can see that the edge is slightly brown. Check this out. That is what we are looking for. Give it a rough stir, pack it flat again, and fry it for a few minutes. When most of the pork are slightly brown, you can push the pork to the side so you have room for the aromatics. Add half cups of white part of scallion, two tablespoons of minced garlic, one tablespoon of ginger. Stir them until fragrant and mix it with the minced pork. It should smell really good right now. Add three tablespoons of soybean paste. This is what I'm using. It is made with fermented soybean. I will put the Amazon link in the description if you want to check it out. 3 tablespoons of water, 2 teaspoons of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Mix everything together. I will also add some dark soy sauce so the color looks nicer. Take it out and set it aside. Now, let's check the dough. It is about 1.8 times bigger than before. Poke a hole, it doesn't bounce back. That means it is good. Open it up, that is what it should look like inside. Take it out and put it on a working surface. We are going to knead it and push all the air out. Sprinkle some flour to prevent stickiness. Grab the dough and fold it in half. Press it down with your body weight. Make sure you squeeze with your fingers to push out all the air. You should be able to hear that the air bubbles are breaking. I have been kneading the dough for 10 minutes now. It is pretty smooth. Cover it and let it sit for 5 minutes. 5 minutes later, we are going to roll it into a flat sheet. It is better to make it into a rectangle shape. I have two different rolling pins here. This one will help you get an evenly flat sheet. And this one, it has the thick middle and the sides are thinner. It will help you roll the dough into any shape you want. I will show you how to do that. First, Roughly roll the dough flat like this. Then you mark four directions 
and we will roll the dough toward to these four directions. This is the first one. Then the second one. The third one, and the last one. Now take a look. It is close to a rectangle shape already. You just repeat this until you get a perfect rectangle. Put the filling on the sheet and spread it to make it even. Roll it up. Got to be careful here. It is pretty easy to break. And that's it. You have the lazy dragon. Pinch both sides to close it. Next, we are going to steam it. Brush some oil on the bottom of the steamer to prevent the stickiness. Put the lazy dragon in it. Be sure to leave some space away from the edge of the steamer so it doesn't ruin the shape. Put the steamer on top of warm water. The temperature of the water should be about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover it and let it rest for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, you should see that the lazy dragon becomes much bigger. Now you can turn the heat to high and steam it for 25 minutes. 25 minutes later, it becomes even bigger. Turn off the heat and do not open the lid. Let it sit for 5 minutes. Now you can take it out. It is still pretty hot. I'm wearing gloves which will help a little bit. Slice it up. Look how nice is that. You can eat it as breakfast or lunch. I can't wait to give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. I love the filling. It's very flavorful and smells amazing. I know many of you probably have never heard of this dish. This is the kind of food that you have to go deep in China to find it. It's not well known, but it's delicious. I really want to share more authentic Chinese food like this, but it has no searches, which means not that many people will find this video and watch it. I enjoy sharing it, and I hope you can click that share button and deliver this delicious recipe to your friends and families. If you like Chinese food, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episode. If you want to know more about me or support me, check out my Patreon link. It's right there. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm. Mm.